first time researching solar panels. I did a couple of assignments in high school on it. But uh, set you off with some names. Bill Nye, Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, Mark Ruffalo, Julia Roberts, Eric Hayes. What do they all have in common? Solar panels. Hmm. So I say you should invest in solar panels, one, so that way you can save money, produce clean energy, and become more energy independent. Almost 10% of U.S. homeowners have solar panels, whereas 40% of U.S. homeowners have seriously considered installing solar panels. So first, I want to say the average Iowa electricity bill is $107.78 which brings a total of around 1300 where solar panels nationwide have been told to save you up to 1600 a year. So in the state of Iowa, it's a f essentially canceling out your entire electric bill for the year. The, the installation cost on solar panels, depending on the power range that you get installed, can range from 10000 to 25000 And of that money, the government will recoup 30%. There's a government incentive that allows you to recoup 30% of your installation cost. Note, this is not a check that you will get, not something that you could just turn in and get the money back. It is something that you could file on your taxes to get as a, a part of your refund and what's left over can be put towards next year's. So what I have here is the setup cost of 15,000 would yield a tax credit of 4,500. And then over here just explains that you can credit this on your tax refund and that you can continue to put it towards next year, as well as you could get energy credits if you produce more than you use. This is only applicable in certain states, however. So what this is, is if you produce more than you use, that goes to the energy company and the energy company will give you the energy that you produced and didn't use as a credit for like the winter seasons when you're not producing as much so you're still not relying on the grid yet until those credits are used up that is not applicable in the state of iowa as well as in some states you could actually earn additional income for solar panels that energy that you put back into the grid states will give you income and those states are listed up here and it also lists the checks that they will give you per month next is housing cost houses that have solar panels installed on average will sell for 4.1 more percent than those that don't have them installed and here's some solar system sizes what uh do you know what size you're getting installed 6.2 6.2, so this, this I'm, I'm not sure exactly what state this research was done on, but for a six kilowatt panel, it'll roughly increase your house cost by 30,000. And that was brought to me by Zillow and NerdWallet, both from 2022 statistics. Next, I have a slide on independence. So when I, what I mean by independence is I mean independence from the current power grid. And the reason this is important, one, you can tell that your electricity is coming from a clean source of power opposed to a coal plant or something else that will be contributing to our current environmental crisis. As well as in the United States and the we have produced more energy than what we consumed for the first time in 2019 since 1957. And in 2021, we produced 97.75 quadrillion uh, kilowatt hours, I believe, and then we consumed 97.3 quadrillion. This is an incredibly low number 
numbers in most most other nations are around 10 percent more production than consumption so we are just barely hitting the green line of what we need to for the amount that we're consuming before this we had to rely on other nations uh, importing electricity to us which i'm not quite sure exactly how you import electricity i that, that's not the topic I was researching, but I think that's crazy that we had to import electricity because our power grid cannot sustain what we already had. And here is a graph. This, these graphs are a little bit hard to read in their current state, but this is our production and this is consumption worldwide. You'll notice that most countries appear Quite the same but this is rated in terawatt hours it's such a large measurement that it's really hard to tell but the United States is roughly the same between these two graphs and how much they produce uh, when the numbers I mentioned with 10% most of those are European nations like the UK and the Netherlands Switzerland all of those they have more advanced uh, recyclable energies like they like to actually take a lot of their waste and use that for thermal power which covers almost 50% of their current uh, electric grid. Next we have uh, environment. I drove in with how how this could actually be bad for environment in certain situations. Cer very specific Specific situations have occurred with solar plant farms where very specific situations the farms have produced such a bounce back of solar beams and heat waves that birds and insects that fly through the waves will actually become injured and uh, exit with very severe burns that require medical attention now this is a very rare occurrence and usually happens in the states that already have excruciating heat waves and where times in the summer where the sun is really beating down those solar panels. Other than that, in say a residential area, the worst that'll happen is maybe a squirrel will nest on the underside of your solar panel, but it per no harm to them. The only harm is probably your wallet for having to pay someone to get them out of there. And also, uh, the production of them, the uses of metal and glass, it, uh, it, those will, the, those take quite a bit of energy to produce. However, most current solar panels will be net zero within four to five years of installation. So, I hope I was able to sway your view a little bit on solar panels, if not fortify your view. And this is my assessment on how solar panels can better your personal finances, the environment, and uh, make you more energy independent.